brings you out here today? What do you, what, uh, why, why are you out here today? Well, we want to have a special send off to the Mitsubishi workers for all that they've done for our community, being the backbone of our community. And so we're here to say thank you so much and we wish you the best. We're still working very hard to try to get someone to come into the plant. We're working hard, you know, not literally around the clock, but almost. Um, and the, uh, obviously the uh, fate of the plant is still up in the air. Absolutely, again, but uh, Mayor Chris Coos and I and Kyle Hamm from the Economic Development Council and others are really working very hard to try to see if we can get someone to purchase a plant and to hire uh, as many people as possible, hopefully as many as Mitsubishi did. What will the loss of this plant mean to uh, the municipalities uh, of Normal and Wilmington? Well, it's going to depend on whether or not we can get someone back in here in short order, and I, I, I'm optimistic about that. And uh, obviously some of these workers are going to need some help in terms of finding new jobs. Yes, and, and that's already, there's a career link and other programs that are established and uh, there's a discounted, discount, excuse me, discounted tuition at Heartland Community College. And Kyle Hamm, uh, the director of the EDC, is helping to spearhead that effort. Okay, and the, um, uh, obviously it's a tremendous number of loss of jobs. Yes, uh, th 1,300 for the entire region. Uh, that's somewhere around 400, 300 to 400 in the city of Bloomington. A little smaller number than that in the town of Normal, but absolutely it is. And so that's why we're, we're going to do anything we possibly can to get someone else in here as soon as possible. So, uh, when was the last time you had that kind of a number of uh, people laid off in the community? Uh, I don't know that we've ever had that. Yeah, certainly in my, my time here, living here, or in the past. Now again, with State Farm, there were some people who, the, the expansion of contract employees, was redirected toward other branches, but but in terms of actually people being laid off, I don't know that this community has ever faced that, in, at least since the industrial period. And if you were trying to sell this plant to a prospective buyer, what would you say about it? It's got a great location, and we've got we're right near multiple interstates. You're not far from uh, Chicago, not far from St. Louis. You've got rail access here, and that's really huge. And it's a a very very large plant that is very adaptable inside. In fact, those have been the talking points that we made in talking with prospective buyers. And my understanding is that this uh, local union was very active in a number of uh, community activities. Absolutely, uh, UAW 2488 has been has a long tradition of over a quarter of a century of being involved, very deeply involved in our community, and uh, certainly it's, it's gonna be missed and they're, they're impactful. And what would be the impact uh, that the city might be feeling um, in terms of services or what whatnot um, with all these people being laid off? You said like 400 at least in the community of Bloomington. It would be somewhere, it could be somewhere to 300 to 400. Some people have actually uh, already obtained uh, employment. Some actually will be kept on by Mitsubishi in the transition. So that's ultimately, that's assuming that nobody comes in six months or now for when they finally close down the shop. So it, it, it's certainly huge. It's certainly be a loss of, of tax revenues, people who need additional services. And so that would affect the county as well as the city of Bloomington and the town of Norman. And But again, we're working hard to ensure uh, that, that that's not necessary beyond maybe the next couple of months. Oh, and can you just explain uh, what was the arrangement on the uh, property taxes collected out here? Does Bloomington get a portion of that? or No, no, it's, uh, I, I, it's at this point I forgot the exact amount, but uh, this could, most of the money goes to District 80, excuse me, uh, Unit 5, and then the town of Normal. And they are applying to have the taxes lowered and, and reassessed in light of the, the plant closure. And that, that's in front of the county right now. And you've had, you're on a task force. Can you explain what the task force has been doing in the last couple sure, of months? Sure. What we're trying to do as, as aggressively as possible is to try to get someone to come in. The top priority has always been another automaker who'd come in and keep the, the very same people, the very same workforce, and keep moving forward. Uh, absent that, then someone who would come in in some sort of manufacturing capacity that would give strong preference to the current employees. And so that's what we've been trying to do. Uh, you know, consistently and so whether it's the big four or some of the, the minor uh, you know automakers or whether or not it's people who are involved in other industries that might need a big space we're working hard on that